I got $100,000 and we are going to be trying and build a multi launch coaster with this money. And $100,000 might sound a lot, but it actually isn't. The multi launch is actually a quite expensive roller coaster. The starting price is already $1,500 and we even are going to try and decorate it. So let's just get straight into this. Alright, so we are going to be building the multi launch and $100,000, uh, uh, it is going to be a tough challenge. Of course, I need to make sure. I place every piece correct because if you place a piece and then delete it you will of course lose some money It is going to be quite challenging. I am just going to place it somewhere on the plot I don't think it really matters to be honest Just a little bit up so we can get already some speed from the station So let's just make it I guess for long and yeah, we've already spent 2500 with just placing the station This is this is going to be interesting. So I don't really actually have a plan for this roller coaster Of course, I am actually planning to make it launched first like a small turn into the lounge I guess so I guess just actually something like this is good enough I just make it go straight again something like that and then uh, of course you want a little bit of the hard lining right there and yeah that's probably good enough all right and boosters are extremely expensive like this small piece is 3400 so what I'm probably going to be doing is maybe 10,000 of boosters and what I will be doing is just increase the boost power a lot so I don't have to spend that much money on boosts because they are so expensive okay so i am like sort of planning to make a coaster pretty low to the ground maybe some sort of like maverick or terran ish coaster of course we don't need them to go that much up which i'm not sure if that's cheaper but i guess that's sort of like my game plan going to start with maybe like some overbanked turn right here so let's make this like 100 degrees that seems to be all right maybe a bit weird but yes let's make that go up a bit that that looks pretty smooth. I am of course going to try and make this coaster as smooth as possible as always. Which brings I guess another challenge with it is that it's I have 100,000 and I need to try and make a good roller coaster which is again not the easiest thing to do. I guess something like this looks to be alright. I kind of like that. And then we're going to add like another piece. I have no idea how fast we'll be going through here. We have around 80,000 left so we've already spent 20,000 on the lounge at one turn. This, this might actually going to be harder than I expected guys so let's just add like some half helix is turn around here and now my idea is just to continue this turn and then go in a barrel get this a bit higher and this is going to be interesting because I sort of need to do this in one go otherwise I will be losing way too much money let's just hope I do this correctly first try a few minutes later something like this doesn't look too bad and now we want to of course go down again rotate it doesn't look actually too bad Oh, that looks terrible. Oh, okay. Wait, I might need to try and fix this up a little bit. <laughs> I am scared this is not going to be very smooth, but it's it's all right. It's all right, guys. Oh my god. And I still need to actually sort of like try to decorate this and make a station for this coaster. So I have like a maybe like 70,000 budget for this coaster. So we're actually already almost halfway of building this. But I have to say, I kind of it actually doesn't look too bad. Should we should we just try it on and see if it maybe actually launches too quick or not? I'm I'm very very curious um it's of course quite a short frame which i do actually kind of like so let's just get into the lounge uh, let's have a look if it's too quick too slow I, I have to guess it's probably too slow um it's a little bit too slow i want to, it to be a bit quicker uh, i can of course do that with the operations we have right here so let's put track friction to 75 so it has some more speed throughout the whole coaster gravity a bit higher and then the boost to 115 percent for now okay let's have a look if it now goes a bit quicker through the whole layout which i think it probably will okay this is all looking pretty nice and then the barrel roll that actually is not bad we have now spent 35,000. uh you're halfway of the yeah, money we can spend so let's continue but before you continue, I have made my own game. As you can see here, Marble Merge Tycoon. And it's a great game. We tried to make it as satisfying as possible. So please try it out. You can click probably like the icon in the top. I don't know how it works. But please try it out after the video because we put a lot of work into it. And I would love you to try it out. Alright, uh, let's continue. 
So I want to add maybe like some turn like this in here, which can be actually pretty nice. It's maybe a bit weird, but I, I guess I kind of like that. Just putting that randomly in there. It, uh, it sort of fits the coaster vibe. Right now, what do I want to do? Of course, I cannot go that up that high because we don't have that much speed. Uh, but I do kind of want to add like another very angled turn right here. And now I sort of want to go over here. And I'm not sure if that's going to be good. But I do have a very probably stupid unique idea i am not sure if i have the money for it but i am going to try it as always so <laughs> let's just sort of like go up here make it very yeah like this and then of course go down almost i don't think i can yeah 170 degrees is good enough make it sure it's almost sort of like going down and then of course go a bit to the side there we go that looks to be fine oh that was actually too much down okay okay now we're going to go down again and rotate all the way back as much as possible okay trying to make this actually go back is harder than I expected it's hard to get the same shape as i did right there so yeah this is going to be interesting i guess i sort of have it right now yeah good enough good enough we have like 50,000 left so we probably still have enough of course brakes also expensive so <laughs> we also need to keep that in mind of course so let's just keep turning this turn around here and then we're of course going to continue this turn and yeah just ignore them the entrance that is here of course i'm not going to use that then we're going to end with like some bunny hills ish so let's reset this and let's add like an airtime hill right here that looks probably good enough let's go straight again and then into the brakes probably like in a left turn Maybe with like an outer bit. How is that going to go? Probably terribly wrong. But I'm still going to do it. And then reset it. Make it go down a little bit. Nothing too much. And then we're going probably with not too much brakes. Probably just two. Try to make a turn. And that actually doesn't look too bad. We have spent 62,000 on this roller coaster already. And we have not even detailed it. I'm very curious if it's smooth. It actually does look pretty cool. Not gonna lie. So let's just test it. Let's just have a quick look if the coaster is smooth. It definitely, if it actually makes it. Maybe I need to increase the boost speed even more. Maybe it's going way too slow at the end. That's definitely possible. But... That barrel is pretty smooth. Then we have that sort of like airtime hill. And then this very interesting inversion, which actually is pretty smooth. And then into the brakes, which I guess, yeah, the brakes need to be, yeah. <laughs> brakes, let's put it at like 200%. This coaster is incredibly smooth. I, it's quite compact. I do like the layout. It's like quite a thrilling coaster. It of course has two uh, inversions. The barrel and like some sort of, I don't know how to call this, but it's like, it actually does look pretty smooth. I kind of like that. And then at the end you have like an airtime hill and that at the end. Yeah, the brakes probably could be a little bit longer, but I don't want to spend that much money on brakes. This is the coaster. Now let's theme it. Let's add some trees or at least try to make a station. Of course, only like 38,000. So that's not a lot to do all of that stuff. But let's do that in the form of a time lapse. And 
the last money I got. Let's spend it. There we go. I am now on zero money. And as you can see, I have not been able to decorate that much. I have made a rather interesting looking station. It's very plain from the outside. I just didn't have the money to add any like windows detail. Well, kind of bad. But I guess if I would have way more money, I could actually make this a pretty nice station. I do like how the roof uh, is. So I'm really happy with that. For the rest, I've just added some rocks and some trees around it. I wasn't even able to fill the whole plot with trees. But I'm also going to change the color of the multi -nash. But I don't know really what color. Yeah, I guess that's that's fine. And then for the train, what I'm actually going to do is maybe some red-ish. Yeah, good enough. All right, so here we have our roller coaster that is built with $100,000. It's not much, mainly because this coaster is just so damn expensive, as you can see. But let's just have a ride. I'm very curious if it's, if it's looking good on the POV and everything. So let's get right on this roller coaster. Alright, this is actually a pretty good coaster. I love actually the layout. It's pretty extremely smooth, which actually surprised me for a budget of 100,000. I think if I would have more money, I could actually, yeah, decorate this pretty nice. But this is the coaster. I am definitely happy with the results. I hope you guys are also happy with the results. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe on my channel. And that's the end of the video. So guys, I will say, as always, good bye.